But first, this new time, we have much more on this breaking news this Thursday on a massive merger years in the making for Rhode Island's healthcare industry. Attorney General Peter Narona has denied the proposed mega merger of Lifespan and Care New England. The two hospital groups announced plans to merge about a year ago, and Narona has been making his announcement announcing his decision at a news conference in Providence that is still going on right now. Target 12 Chief Investigator Tim White is live in our studio with the breaking details on this merger denial. Tim. Yeah, Danielle, this is a stunning announcement. As you said, Nerona gave the proposal a thumbs down. Under state law, the Attorney General has regulatory oversight of hospital mergers. His announcement came well ahead of the March 16th deadline. Now, the 150-page decision was made public a short time ago, so we're still going through it. But Nerona's key concern was the new hospital group would control 80% of the state's inpatient hospital care. He noted the biggest hospital groups in Massachusetts and Connecticut control less than one-third of inpatient care in their states. Nerona also predicted that nearly all of Rhode Islanders would see their health care costs go up and access go down. Another key factor, Danielle, he said the merger, which was billed as a way to help the hospital system stay afloat, would actually put them in, quote, financial peril. So in other words, don't give us a set of objectives. Don't speak in generalities. Don't give us things that all sound good. Tell us exactly what you're going to do, where you're going to do it, who you're going to affect, and then let us know how you're going to pay for it. Uh, and as you'll see later, getting answer answers to those questions proved to be elusive. Now, Danielle, it's hard to understate how big a decision this is. As you know, Lifespan owns Rhode Island, Miriam, Newport, and Bradley Hospitals, and uh, Care New England owns, of course, Women and Infants, Kent and Butler. So combined, Danielle, they employ 22,000 workers. And look, it impacts Brown University mm -hmm. as well, which was affiliated with the, uh, the deal academically. $125 million the school was going to put into this wow. proposal. All right, so Tim, the hospital groups obviously had a lot riding on this. I mean, does this attorney general decision today mean it's over? Well, at a minimum, I would say the proposal is in turmoil. Per state law, Lifespan and Care New England uh, could ask a superior court judge to review this, the decision. Mm -hmm. So in other words, this would be an appeal to the courts. Will they? I mean, that's the big question. We'll see our colleague Ted Nisi is at that news conference right now, so he'll be covering it throughout the day. You know, and speaking of Ted Nisi, he filed a report on um, our social media pages just before noontime. I mean, this was a lengthy and expensive process, this proposed merger here. Yeah. I mean, a stunning uh, total, I believe, is close to $28 million for yep. this process, right? Yeah, they had a lot of skin in the game, is yeah. what you're saying here. Both the hospital groups and, as I said, Brown University, and more bad news for both of them. Uh, Ted also tweeted out a short time ago, that one of the regulatory agencies that is looking at this are the feds, the FTC. Mm -hmm. uh, and he said that the FTC and the attorney general are actually going to file suit to block this merger. So that really tips the hand as to what the FTC is going to decide on this one. Not good news for the proposal. All right, and the attorney general wrapping up his comments. We, of course, will have continuing coverage throughout the day on this stunning announcement from the attorney general. As you know, we've been tracking the potential for this massive hospital merger every step of the way. Our team coverage will continue tonight on 12 News at 4. Tim will be back. Ted will be back as well, bringing you updates when they come in to alert you on our news app. You can find any of these breaking news articles as well at WPRI.com.